In a lesson which incorporates active learning, students are guided in working with information to better understand and apply it. Let's see how Nazreen uses Padlet to enable students to share examples of the key learning point and review the key learning in a lesson from the School of Trades and Apprenticeship. Um, we're going to review the last hour. Welcome back from the break. Uh, in the last hour of the session, we have discussed about AC and DC motor. So at this point of time, what we will do, I'm going to share a Padlet link with you and with two key questions. The first question is about what are the properties of AC and DC motors? And second one, pose the photos of possible uses of AC and DC motors in Padlet. Because we have, Padlet, we have used Padlet before in our last class, so I assume all of you should know how to use Padlet also. So, but then feel free to ask for help if you have difficulty of accessing the link. I'm going to post the link in the chat option and I'll give you a moment to access the link first. You can do this individual task and you'll have five minutes to do that. And feel free to use the materials that I have provided you already in the course shell. You are welcome to you know, have a look at the material if you're confused about these prompts. On the screen, you can see there are two prompts. Uh, first one, um, post a photo of possible uses of DC motor. Uh, so this is a very simple one. Uh, think, about the, uh, think about one example and, and you can look around. You know, in your, in your uh, house, I'm very sure you'll have some example of you know, that where we have used DC motor. So feel free to post a picture of that and AC motor do the same one. And then what are the properties of DC motor and AC motor? So you can put uh, your uh, uh, answer in the comment box and I'll give you around five minutes to do that uh, unless um, anybody has a question. I'll share that and share back after the five minutes. I love when Padlet has uh, so much, so many pictures. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you so much for participating in this one. I'll share this, uh, you can see the Padlet on your device, I'm very sure, but I'm just sharing for our group discussion. So I can see some wonderful examples are there. So yes, DC, that is, that is direct current, uh, has portable drill machine. And then there is a TV, uh, AC example is uh, we have example of fan and uh, DC example has uh, toothbrush, electric toothbrush. How many of you use electric toothbrush? None of you? Not so far. I, I don't do either, but my, my daughter does. Uh, she's a fan of electric toothbrush. Um, I'm still learning how to use that. That's so embarrassing for me. Uh, but uh, electric toothbrush uses DC current. One of the imp interesting thing is that about the another example is kids toy. Somebody has posted a toy of a uh, uh, motor car. Yes, wonderful because uh, they don't have to adjust the current. So DC current is there is no adjustment of current. It is what it is directly is coming in terms of, for example, air conditioner. So it, well, always there is a power imbalance and then when that kind of uh, AC motor, when they transfer the current into the system, so they adjust the current. So that's, that's why this is called AC current. So what I will ask one question, somebody has posted a picture of uh, some kind of, you know, kids toy. Uh, I'm talking about the right corner top one, but it doesn't have a motor. Have you seen that? So there is no yeah. current. <laughs> so yeah, this is so interesting. So uh, to have to be that example, you need to have some kind of motor. Without a motor, it's not going to be neither AC nor DC. So that example is uh, funny, I would say, uh, but not the correct one. And uh, I can see um, you have posted wonderful um, ideas about what are the properties of DC motor. Uh, people have written weightless. Uh, uh, low cost, less maintenance, that is low maintenance is there, low cost, and uh, about the AC. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the other screen because I have a dual monitor, so I'm just looking at there. 
And for the AC, we have they're highly efficient, um, high RP, RPM output, and long life. That's, that's very important about AC current. It has a really long life and low noise. So this is something we have discussed in our last session. And now we'll move to the next part of our session right now. Uh, thank you for participating in this particular activity. I'm going to post this uh, classwork in our course shell so that everyone has access to their classwork, even after the class ends also. Thank you, folks. <laughs>